Hi, Seriousness here, back with another answer to mention New Game Minus 4 video, episode 35, and it's been a long time since I recorded last episode, because I was away from my computer, and you can see I just barely got up to E2400 antimatter to unlock the new dimension, which is the second infinity dimension. It costs E9 infinity points, which means I can actually get it, and it's really weak, actually. So, hooray for that. I can get the doubler, that's probably more important at this point. And there's one other upgrade I can get, that's it. Maybe I've unlocked something else? Yeah, there is another challenge, so I will do that. I guess I'll just get this last upgrade here. I can get E10 infinity points from crunching, though, so that's actually... Pretty good right there, um, because yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to get this challenge done. All normal dimension multipliers are disabled except for infinity power and the galaxy. But the galaxy boost on infinity power is stronger. I think it's just the same as the fourth infinity challenge in New Game Minus Three, and I can instantly do it. So yeah, that's this challenge is not even a challenge. The reward is dimension and Tixie boost also boosts infinity power. Um, and there's no new galaxy upgrade, so I didn't really miss on that. Not exactly sure what I should go for now, though. Probably just, I mean, I could try to get as far as I can, but I think more realistically, a better strategy would just be to try to, you know, maximize my infinity points for a minute. So like, like, yes, I can do stuff like this. Um, maybe I should turn off some of my, you know, dimension boosting, or actually, or... or I need to turn off more of my automation. I think I just left this on one just because it's going to be leaving my computer for such a long time. But you can see I can get all the way up to... What is this? Is this... It's not even close to E2400 antimatter. It's like... Let's see, E1970? Yeah. We're not even close. It's just... It's kind of ridiculous. It's probably because so many things are based on like just accumulating galaxy points and infinity power. So... I think what I should do is just, you know, try to get good infinity points. I actually got an achievement. There's an achievement. Reach E8 infinity points per minute. I could try to go for anti-tables, but I can't. I don't. I doubt. I seriously doubt I could do it. Because here's the thing. I, I'm going to try. I'm, if I try to go for it, like right now. Like, I, I try to get as far as I can. So this means, you know, even having the 12 galaxies and everything. Um, I'm getting a tick speed boost and... Dimension boosting all the way up to here, and then disabling all of my automation. It's still gonna be impossible because, um, or at least, at least I'm gonna try. But this is E133 on the first dimension because of I think it was like one of the challenge rewards or something, or actually I think it was a galaxy upgrade. Um, um there's I know there's something that made that just buffed the first dimension and. Yeah, anti tables is impossible at this point, and the potato ones are also impossible. So yay, I really really want these to be possible, but no, the potato ones are notorious in the new in all the new game minus X mods. I'm just gonna enable my auto buyers and let's let's see how far we can actually you know get with like all the all the automation here. So disable this. Um, I, th I think this is good. Um. But let's disable tick speed boost for now. So let's just crunch here. Let's see how many galaxies I can get. So I can instantly get 11. Now, can I can I do it all from dimension boosts? No, I can't. How many tick speed boosts can I get? That's like 110 there, but I don't think that is the best plan. I should just do this. Um, that is 100 tick speed boosts, or it's 102, and then just probably... I'm, yeah, so let's do let's do this first. So first, set this to eleven. Then set this to one hundred and two, or just let's say a hundred. That's that's good. Um, so it's only gonna take speed boost once. And now we're gonna set this to eleven. And I don't know. I'm just gonna set this to ten for now. And we're, we're first just gonna see how how we can do here. So hundred is pretty easy there. Um, if we set okay, I I really need to focus more on this. So, go here, um, it's buying 10, which is definitely inefficient, um, but, like, let's see, I can, I can get up to, like, 
what is that? That's 70. So what if I go, instead of doing 10, I do, let's say, um, 14? No, 15, because that would, that would do 75. Um, let's see if I can even get that 75. So, Or I could even try to go for something else. It doesn't look like I can really get up to, you know, yeah, so it looks like 70 is about the max I can get. So I, you know, I, I could actually do this and see if that even works. Does, does that work? Um, no. So, like, how many can I get? Okay, so I that's like 67. But I'm guessing the time there probably helped it. So I'm just going to do 65. And that's probably all I need. Like, I, I feel like that is... Yeah, three e nine per minute, which is I think yeah that's really good. So where does that? How many infinity points? That's about three e eight. So just enter this in and boom. Now we have a, a strategy for getting three billion infinity points every minute. So I feel that's definitely going to be enough to get me all the way up to like e twelve, and the doublers will get me up to e thirteen. So this is actually really useful. I mean, it may not be the best strategy ever, but you know, it seems to work fine. I'm probably gonna get this because this will help. Like this is already 4e8. This is gonna get up to 6e8 now. I guess I can also get that upgrade, which will probably speed things up even more. Um, just yeah, I'm, that that might have been 4e9 there or 3.63e9. So you can just see how good this is. If I, if I hold M, let's see how fast it, it is. It's probably it's probably not as pronounced as before, but it's still actually really good. I was going to say it isn't as pronounced as before, because I know I'm holding M in the early break infinity stages is much better, but then I think you're more bottleneck just by like how far you can reach instead of like how fast you can do it. Like That plays a much bigger role in the gain of infinity points. So, yeah, that's like almost 5e9 per minute. This allows me to get a doubler in like 20 minutes, and then five times that, that'd be like, let's say two hours, I can get get the next doubler, and then I can get the next doubler if I wait 10 hours, which is definitely possible. So that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get a bunch of doublers. I can also get a couple of other upgrades along the way, like I'm talking, you know, a couple of these upgrades and this one even though it's kind of useless, or not useless, but weak, and yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back about a day later, and I've done, you know, I've gotten all of these doublers up to E12 infinity points, I've gotten another E12, and I feel like at this point, I want to get some upgrades. So, first things first, this one's just going to be a good all-around upgrade. Um, this one does exist, um, I'm going to get it, and... It seems, I mean, it's probably not going to be as good, but they are getting better as this does get lower and lower. And I will get galaxies are 10% stronger. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but it may help a little bit. Now, I think, uh, uh, I'm not sure which one is stronger here. I could try exporting. So what I guess what I can do as well is this. Is this any good as well? I guess I could, I'm going to just export immediately here. Because is this any good? Um, yeah, that, that's good enough that I think it's acceptable for me to get that for E11 infinity points. So let's see how far we can get. I want to get up to E26 diff the antimatter to unlock the next infinity challenge. So just disable crunching at this point. And I guess I can even disable um, these two as well. So let's let's see how, how far I can get. So 12 galaxies. Um, I don't think 13 is possible. I mean, this actually isn't all that encouraging. I'm only E2100 antimatter. That isn't the greatest. I was hoping for more than that. Um, there's no no new like galaxy upgrades. I guess this is where I can export. See which one's better. So this gives me a little boost there. And if I import, um, oh, sorry for that flash of light. Um, go back into here. Okay, the first one is much stronger. Um, 
because that did barely any boost at all. So yeah, just get get this upgrade. This is the better one. And um, again, dimension boosts are acting very mysteriously. Sometimes they're way stronger, and sometimes they're way weaker. It makes no sense. But yeah, is it even possible to really reach E twenty one? Uh, 2650 antimatter. I mean, I guess I can just let this get as yeah higher, but really not much I can do. I guess I'm just gonna wait a day and just see if I'm anywhere close because this doesn't look very promising. Even with a bunch of these upgrades and the galaxies are 10% stronger upgrade, there's almost nothing happening here. So I guess I'm just gonna let it go, see where I end up, even just a few hours from now, and yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a surprising amount of time later. Like, almost, uh, I'm not even sure, but you can see, I spent 10 days in this infinity, and I got to E2650 antimatter, like, yesterday. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really been a long time. I actually got this doubler off camera. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem to double this. But, yeah, I guess there's a couple of upgrades here I can get if I want. But, yeah, I was just trying to get enough Antimatter to unlock the next Infinity Challenge, which again is the same as a New Game Minus 3. Um, it's essentially a reverse of Infinity Challenge 3. And maybe this gives me, this is going to be able to get me the Potato Achievements. Yes. Before I do this, I'm just going to crunch and, um, yeah. I guess just get straight into this challenge. I think, I think while I was, um, you know, um, while I was waiting to, you know, get get the antimatter, oh, there's the achievements. I was, I was just gonna say, um, while I was waiting to get the antimatter, I set these back to like one and all that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's so nice. I can finally get this row of achievement. If I can get this as well, that's another row conquered. Um, but. Yeah, you can see. I honestly, I probably don't even need automation for the for this at this point. I would much rather just like buy it manually at this point, and just see how far I can get with that. Um, it doesn't really look like I'm anywhere close to <laughs> beating the challenge because I need E fifteen thirty antimatter. I'm at E eleven ninety six or something. Yeah, not really all that close. I am kind of getting close to enough tick speed to get the next potato. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. I was, I'm like, just like just waiting a few minutes just to get this achievement is probably worth it. <laughs> but really, I think this challenge is impossible at this point. I mean, maybe I could get some upgrades, which I will do now. Like, here we go. That did nothing. Maybe I need to reset first or something. I get this and this. And that's about all I can upgrade. Like, okay, yeah, now the other upgrades have taken effect, and it's it gives me maybe like 25 to 30 orders of magnitude of antimatter. Maybe not even, because dimension boosts are strangely OP in New Game Minus 4, but yeah, this is not gonna um, let me beat the challenge. There's just too many orders of magnitude. If I was at like E1332, I would probably be like okay let's, let's just continue this but at this point it's impossible and just getting these potato achievements at all is <laughs> good enough like that that's already success so yeah let's let's exit the challenge let's try to optimize our infinity points per minute now so um it's only 72 okay so i should maybe this should be kept at 65 and 11. Doesn't really look like all that much has changed. I mean, maybe I could try to... I don't know. I'm going to try one thing. If I just crunch and then, like... Okay, yeah. 65 is still the way to go here. It's not like I should be getting any more. And then at 12 galaxies, I should get... What is that? I'm, I'm just going to crunch again because like stuff like Infinity Dimensions could make me get more than I think. I got 120 there, so let's just try to memorize. 120 should be what we're getting. 12, 120. And that should be our 
um, the way we do it. And then I think it's just do that. Try to optimize the infinity points per minute. That was, what is that? 1.2 E10? Looks like it. So boom, we have activated it and let's see what we're getting for infinity point. Yeah, this looks really good. 1.4 E11 per minute. So this is this is enough to be able to, well, I mean, it's not the most powerful ever, but like if I was to, like even the offline, this is going to give me 4 E10 per minute, which allows like 6 E13 in a day. So that's pretty exciting. That means I can even get to like E14 um, infinity points and get the doubler and then get E14 again, get a couple of these. Um, then it's going to get slow. I think, but maybe by the time I get E14, I'll get enough of like these upgrades and stuff to be able to get or complete the challenge. I, th I think I have heard the absolute end game for New Game Minus 4 is like E18. So I'm, I am getting pretty close. And I think like the infinity points per minute they're getting was like E13. So there's really not much more progression to go in this game. Maybe a few more episodes and that's it. I'll have reached the end game of New Game Minus 4. And then I can start New Game Minus 5 because that's a thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.